Hey everyone, if you guys are really asking, is this guy doing a Sony PlayStation Classic unboxing in 2019? The short answer is yes. Yes I am. If you're wondering why, well we'll get to that in just a second. If you're not familiar with this, this was released not too long ago when Nintendo was really capitalizing on their nostalgia factor. So they were releasing not only classic games that everyone had loved, they were releasing them on small versions of the classic consoles, which everybody ate up. They were nearly impossible to find on the shelves, and eBay, the prices were going up. So Sony thought, we can do the same thing with the, with the nostalgia factor that we have with the original PlayStation. And that's when they released the Sony PlayStation Classic. Now, this <laughs> didn't come out to much fanfare for three main reasons. There were a couple others, but three main ones. One, out of all of the nostalgic consoles that were released, this one was the most expensive for the starting price point of $100. Secondly, it came out with fewer games than anything that had been released on the other consoles that Nintendo was doing at the time. And three, the quality of games were lacking. Now, don't get me wrong, there are some good titles on here, but when you think original PlayStation, my heart immediately goes to Tomb Raider. You're not going to find that on here. Some of you might think of Spyro, along with some other games, not on here. So, yeah, those three big factors, high price point, fewest games, and not the highest caliber of game. So a lot of these sat on the shelves because stores ordered a bunch. They thought they were going to sell out just like Nintendo had been doing, but these did not. And they sat on the shelf for a while. The reason we have this one right now is because prices were slashed dramatically. Um, I picked this up at one of my local game stores that I like to go to, but even places, you know, online Amazon and uh, Best Buy had brought this from their $100 price point. They initially dropped it down to 60 but this one I picked up brand new, sealed for 30 bucks. So the question is, for what you get inside this box, is it worth the $30 price point? I'm going to argue yes. But for now, let's go ahead and do the unboxing. All right, here we go. That's that's too big. And uh, no, that's even bigger. What? Why do I even have that? All right, that'll do. All right, let's see what we've got inside. Now, bad time to mention that I'm more of an Xbox guy. What was that? A cutscene? Because somehow that's glued or taped in there? Whoo, flawless. Box inside of a box inside of a. Oh my goodness, that's tiny. Wow. Just for comparison. Look at that. Obligatory manual. Oh my goodness. I mean, to their credit, it really does look like the real thing to scale. All right, couple USB ports in the front. Looks like power, HDMI. And I don't know what that is. All right, power buttons. Open button, which doesn't actually open. And reset. Alright, there's our HDMI cable. Oh! 
two controllers. That's awesome. The box only showed one, so I'm actually pretty happy to see that there's two in there. And that's a USB port, but they've made it look, again, down to scale, to like the original connections. Controls feel pretty light, but the size isn't bad. And our USB power. Okay, you know what? It was on the box. I read it, but I didn't pay attention. So, yes, you have the cable. The small end goes into the machine. And this is supposed to go into adapter, which is not included. Sony, all right, that's the fourth thing. We kind of three, that's a, why could you not spend the extra dollar to put that in there? Because you were already overcharging anyway for this in the beginning. Why could you not throw that in there? That's, that's just cheap on you guys' part. But they did throw in the extra controller, so we'll give them a pass on that. We'll go back to three. So here's the unit itself, which, it was the same size as the controller. <laughs> it looks like a handheld. Can you imagine if that popped up and there was a screen there? So there's the unit. Two controllers. Power cable. And the HDMI cable. Now that I've made a mess, let's plug this into the TV and see what happens. Okay, none of those buttons are it. Oh, there we go. So this feels kind of weird. Not having joysticks on here. Oh, that music is amazing. For a second, I was not in last place. I should have played Twisted Metal. I'm drifting a little bit. I haven't even checked to see if there's a break yet. Hey, sixth place. Fifth place. Okay, so that music is too much for me, <laughs> but it seems to be running well. Uh, this is going to be a fun, classic bit. My final verdict, which I may have mentioned earlier, is for 30 bucks, there's a good amount of games on here, and it's going to be fun just for some single-player things, uh, for you and your friends. I honestly think that at that price point, it's worth the money. So if you can find some out there, go ahead and give it a shot, because I think it'll be great. I can see myself in the reflection of the TV, so on that note, I will see you all later. And as always, there will be no outro.